through a series of uh, unfortunate circumstances, Colin Smart has found out that you're my grandson. Oh, right. So I thought it'd be better if everyone heard it from me first rather than her. Sounds OK to me. It's going to be weird when Fisher starts telling people. Imagine how spun out everyone's going to be. They'll deal with it, but they will probably wonder why he's going to tell themselves. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter now anyway. Colleen's got all the goss. Mm. I'm out of here. Hey. Slatterman. Um, if you guys start hearing stuff about me and you're not sure if it's true or not, I just wanted to let you know that it is. Am I supposed to understand that? What's true? Fish is my granddad. What? No way. You're messing with us, man. I just didn't want to say anything because we weren't 100% certain. Who else knows? Well, it was meant to be a secret, but Colleen found out. Oh, well, we're probably the last ones to find out if... Oh, I know. Yeah, no, you think that she just for once shut him out. I don't even care. It's just Fisher wanted to start telling people himself tomorrow. Well, they're gonna know way before that. I had thought of making some phone calls tonight, but, uh, well, I don't know. I feel like I was doing it just because I had to. Yeah, which is uh, partly true, of course. I would have acknowledged the boy sooner, and I wasn't sure he'd feel comfortable about it. You could put on a do. We introduce him to the community, so to speak. Well, there's not enough time, Jonah. The whole point of the exercise, surely, is to get to everyone before Colleen does. But yes, maybe you're on the right track. Yes, I could uh, just about catch the deadline as well. What are you up to? No, I think I found the perfect solution. Uh... Is your mum around? Uh, no, she's still at work. Oh, that's all right. I just need to use the phone. I absolutely have to talk to my friend Dottie. I don't like to impose, but I can't wait till I get home. I'm sure your mum wouldn't no, mind. No, 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 you can't. What? Uh, you can't use the phone. Why not? If there's something wrong with it. Yeah, really wrong with it. The line's all crackly. You won't be able to hear a thing. Exactly, it's a really bad line. You won't be able to hear a thing. Oh. But it's been fixed tomorrow, so you can come back and use it then. How about you have a cup of tea with us instead? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, another one of your photos in there, is it? Oh, I wish. Mr. Donald Fisher. Um, um, headmaster is on Bay High. Welcome Sebastian Miller, his grandson, to Summer Bay. What? Sebastian's Mr. Fisher's grandson? Well, Stewie doesn't look too surprised. Well, I've known him for a while. What's that, Ben? Hey. Sammy boy, take a look at this. Oh. Well, this is so cool. Mr. Fisher put the ad in the paper. Oh, well, at least you don't have to worry about who Colleen tells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam, you're just in time for lunch. What did you do that for? Well, it, well, it seemed the proper way to announce things. You just don't get it, do you? If I've done something wrong, I'm sorry. Are you ashamed of me? What? What are you talking about? Well, can't you even tell people yourself? I honestly thought it would be the best way. I assumed you were just going to tell people who knew us. Now the whole town knows. It seemed the simplest way to do it. You thought about yourself. That's what you did. What would make your life easier? Oh, for heaven's sake. If I've made a mistake, I'm sorry. Obviously, I should have consulted you but first. Just forget it. Because it's stuff anyway. Can I come in? Do I have a choice? I suppose Fisher asked you to come. I don't have to be asked. I hope you're feeling very proud of yourself. You know what you've done, don't you? You have just about broken your grandfather's heart. Yeah, right. Oh, I am serious. Your grandfather is a very dear, sweet, old-fashioned man. Now, when he was growing up, and people had an important announcement to make. They used to put an ad in the personal columns. So what he did was make a very loving and dignified gesture, announcing to the world that you were his flesh and blood. Oh, but no, you didn't think about that, did you? You didn't stop to think about anything. Oh, yeah, you just sit there feeling sorry for yourself. You know who I feel sorry for? I feel sorry for Don. He went out on a limb for you, and what does he get in return? I didn't ask him to. I beg your pardon? I said I didn't ask him to. 
Don't play the I don't give a toss game with me. It doesn't work. Been around too long. You know, you are very lucky to have a grandfather like Don. I hope you can get that into your thick head before you lose him. Oh, morning, sir. Hi. Are uh, you in for breakfast? Oh, no, I'm just getting some milk. Uh, you look exhausted. This has really got to stop. What? Well, working night and day, it's too much. I'm not working night and day. I'm just helping June and Nora out. Yes, I know that, but I wonder if they realize how much it's taking out of you. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm always like this in the mornings. What are you doing here? I was wondering if uh, you'd had a chance to reflect on our little chat the other day. That, sort of. And do you still think your grandfather did the wrong thing? I noticed you weren't very friendly earlier. I was tired, all right? Okay, maybe I think what he did wasn't such a bad thing. Why don't you tell him? Well, you know. Yeah, I know. An apology would stick in your throat, typical male. You could tell him for me. Oh, I don't think so, Chum. <laughs> what are you doing at lunchtime? I'm supposed to be down the beach. You think you could swing some time off? What for? How are your culinary skills? I thought I heard you. Did you finish all your work? Uh, yes. Yes, I have, thank you. Yeah. Well, you look very nice. Oh, I thought I'd spruce myself up. How bad for a fat old chook, huh? <laughs> uh, June, there's um, something that uh, you and I should talk about. Well, let's do it over lunch. Well, I'm not really all that hungry, thank you. Ah, you know what they say, starve a cold, feed the flu. Uh, isn't it the other way around? Well, whatever. Anyway, it'd be a shame if you didn't eat it after Seb has put so much preparation into Seb? it. Seb? Yeah. June told me how sick you've been, and you've got to keep your strength up. Well, I think she might have exaggerated just a tad, but thank you anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, uh, I guess I'll leave you to it. Oh, wait a minute. You, you can't leave now, not after all this trouble. Come and join us. Well, I'm supposed to be down the beach. If you don't stay, he won't eat. You know how stubborn he is. All right, then. That's all right. You look healthier already. Yeah, well, I feel healthier. Uh, where did you learn to cook like that anyway? Your mother? Yeah, she used to love cooking. Oh, well, you've obviously inherited the talent. Well done. Well, thank you. <laughs> Donald, you were going to show me some photographs of what Summer Bay used to look like, oh, remember? right. Yes, I'd forgotten. Uh, maybe Seb would like to see them as well. Yeah. Well, as long as they don't end up as cardboard cutouts in the school corridor. Pardon? Uh, it's a long story. I'll tell you later. Uh, right, now. Ah, now, that's, uh, that's where the Sands Resort is now. As you can see, it was all bushland then. <clears throat> is that Mr. Stewart? Yes, yes. Uh, he had a lot more hair in those days. <laughs> well, didn't we all? <laughs> yeah, oh, and that's, uh, that's the old diner. Oh. Yeah. What happened to that? Caught fire. Oh. Did um, you ever have any brothers or sisters? Nope, just me. Oh, it was just because back in the old days, I thought they used to have huge families. Oh, what do you mean when Queen Victoria was a child? I'm not quite that ancient. Thank you very much, young man. <laughs> Sorry. OK. Yeah. Say mozzarella. He might have warned us. <laughs> well, I prefer spontaneity. I'll send you both a copy, if you like. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, well, if you're getting copies, why not? Uh, you two carry on. I'll get the copy. Right. Now, this is Shane and Angel. You've probably heard me talk about them. 